Okay, so in order to do the technique that I'm about to show you, you're going to have to have a signal wire account. So why do you want a signal wire account? A signal wire account is going to get you super cheap pricing on all of your phone numbers for lead generation. So if you look, a phone number from somewhere like Twilio, which most people use for lead generation, is a dollar per month. So if you have hundreds of numbers, that can start to add up. Now with SignalWire, it's only eight cents per month per number. So oh, 92 cents less. It's a huge savings when you start talking hundreds or thousands of numbers. Uh, and then in terms of the actual price per uh, minute used, that's also much, much cheaper. So how do I use SignalWire currently? Well, what I've been doing for all of my new lead generation, where I, uh, I don't already have a Twilio number established, I'm buying signal wire numbers, and I'm just forwarding them over to an existing Twilio number that I have. So why would I want to do that? Well, there's some really good call trackers out there that use Twilio. I'm using Jensen currently, but there are others. There's not really any good as of the time of this recording, any good call trackers using SignalWire. So the problem with using uh, just SignalWire by itself is if you need call recordings or really good reporting, it's not going to do that great of a job of that. So what you can do is you can take SignalWire numbers and forward them to one of your Twilio numbers that is uh, with Jensen or another call tracker to still take advantage of all of the call tracking stats and recordings and features, routing, all that sort of stuff that um, you just can't really uh, do easily currently with, with SignalWire. Maybe in time you'll be able to, but right now there's really not anything that's that robust. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get signed up for a SignalWire account if you don't already have one. So signalwire.com, you're gonna follow the prompts. Um, I, don't, I do believe you have to put maybe a little bit of money in your account in order to kind of get set up, but again, numbers are only eight cents, so you're really not going to spend hardly anything. Um, our signal wire bills are so, so inexpensive, and that's with, you know, like thousands of numbers. So really, really great setup. So get your signal wire account all set up, and then once you do that, uh, well, first, you know, if you gotta do that, pause this video, and then you can come back, because the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you actually how to configure your signal wire numbers in order to route them to uh, you know, Jensen or whatever call tracker that you're using, okay? So if you don't have an account, get yourself an account and then come back and watch this next piece. Okay, I am now signed in to my SignalWire account. Now, what you're gonna see is that you have um, some options over here. They do have uh, the ability to like create uh, like different projects essentially within your account to organize it differently, which you know you certainly can do. Um, but really that, that doesn't matter. What we're looking for is actually the phone number side of things. So if we click over here on phone numbers, if you click new, I don't believe I can buy any additional numbers currently because this account is maxed out. I need to call them and, uh, and ask them to up the numbers that I can add into this particular account. But uh, what will happen is you'll be able to hit plus new, you'll be able to get yourself a phone number in pretty much any area code in the country that you want. And then once you have that phone number, it kind of looks, um, it kind of looks like this basically as a default once you get the phone number, okay? Um, it gives, you know, some like IDs and what the number is and, and when you bought it, et cetera. But um, there is no like forwarding or configuration set up on this number to start. That's up to you to do. So in order to forward this phone number over to a Twilio number, or, you know, if you're using some other kind of tool, uh, I'm just familiar with Twilio. I'm not really familiar too much with some of the other companies that are out there, but this would work with any of them. You need to get the number that you want to forward these calls to. Now, again, this isn't going to be the end number. This is going to be a number that you have set up in your other call tracker. So it could be Jensen or analytic call tracking or call tracking pro or whatever call tracker you're using. 
and the phone number that you plug into signal wire here is your forwarding number is going to be that other number so it's kind of like a double forward it's going to someone's going to call your signal wire number on let's say one of your gmbs or your sites and that's then going to forward over to a twilio number that you have and that twilio number will ultimately forward over to your end client now the great thing is is it will capture that uh, call inside of Jensen, okay, or your call tracker that you're using, meaning you'd be able to listen to the recording. You'll still be able to see the origination of the number. Now you're going to have to match up what signal wire number that came from if you want to tell specifically like what GMB that came out of. Um, so I'm using this setup more for um, more mass lead generation than I am uh, concerned about any one specific number and what it's bringing me. I can dig into that and find it if I want, but I would need to basically look in my Jensen call tracker and see what phone number I have that would match up to uh, my signal wire number. Okay, so just an idea. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, once you've bought a number here in signal wire, you're going to go down to this section here called I believe you pronounce it LAML. That's how I call it, LAML. And what LAML is going to do is it's going to let you set up something called a bin. This little thing over here, a bin. What is a bin? A bin is just a piece of code that lets you forward the particular uh, phone number to another number. In this case, we're going to forward our signal wire number over to a number that we have in Jensen. All right. So here you have it. Uh, there is something here. Uh, in, in bins, it's just going to be blank to start. There won't be a bin in here for you to start. So you're going to have to hit plus new, and you can just name your bin. I suggest that you name your bin whatever you're going to be forwarding it to. So you could say forward to whatever, or come up with some kind of a naming system for yourself of what you're going to be forwarding it to. Now, you saw there that you name the bin, and then you have to put some code in. I'm going to supply you with the code that you need, all right? as I've already set up one of these bins. Basically, this is the code that you need right here in order to forward this uh, signal wire number to a Jensen number. So in this case, this number here would be your Jensen number or your, your Twilio number basically in Jensen. So when your signal wire number comes in, it's gonna call this number here and then this number is obviously going to do whatever you have set up in Jensen. It's gonna forward over to um, whatever else you have set up. If it's a round robin, if it's gonna forward to somebody else or what have you, but this is a way to just save a lot of money on phone numbers essentially, okay? All right, so in setting up this LAML bin, you're going to put your, you're gonna name the bin and then you're gonna put this piece of code in here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to insert the phone number. Make sure you leave the plus one in front of it, then follow it up with the rest of the phone number, no dashes, just like that, okay? So you'll just swap your phone number out in the little piece of code that I give you, and then you're gonna hit save. Now this is really key. You need this request URL. This is the actual URL inside of SignalWire system in order to attach to your number that tells it where to go, okay? It's kind of like your little forwarding address. You're gonna attach this URL over to uh, one of your signal or many of your signal wire numbers to tell it to call your Jensen number, your Twilio number at Jensen. So you're just gonna hit copy URL. That's gonna copy the bin URL here that you just made. Now what you can do is you can go into phone numbers, go to one of your numbers, and right here where it says edit settings, you're gonna click on edit settings. And in here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down, and when it says right here, when a call comes in, you're gonna paste that right there, okay? You paste that URL from the bin right there. That's all you need to do, scroll down, press save. What just happened? Now this phone number is set up. When somebody calls this phone number right here, it is going to then use this, this little URL right here, and it is going to call that specific number we set up inside the bin. And then wherever that number is set up, it is going to forward on, all right? So if inside Jensen, that number forwards to a client of mine, that number 
when somebody calls the signal wire number is still going to forward to that same person. So just think of this as like another another link in the chain. This is just happening all before your Jensen number gets called, right? This thing is calling your Jensen number. Your Jensen number will just continue. That way all of your call recordings, your stats, everything else is still going to reside there in Jensen for you so you can, you know, get all those stats and recordings and, and monitor everything, okay? This is just another way to um, add a bunch of numbers uh, going to that to save you a lot of money, okay? So I'll supply you with a little piece of code. All you need to do is set up your SignalWire account and attach that into the specific number uh, after creating your bin, and you're good to go. Now, if you want to forward to different numbers, then you're just going to need to set up a different bin for every single number. So create a new bin, you know, call it whatever. Uh, Jensen 2, Jensen 3, Jensen 4, or put the specific number that you're forwarding to if you want to keep track of it that way, but you'll need a different bin for each different number that you want to forward to. And again, the way I'm doing this is I'm not setting these up to my end clients, I'm sending them to a Jensen number, and that will then route to whatever client that I need it to. The great thing about this is, is once you've set up a bin, if you're going to do dozens of numbers going to the same place, then what you can do is you can just come in, copy this URL, go into your phone numbers, just go grab your next number, edit settings, come in here, when a call comes in, paste your request URL in, hit save, and that number is now gonna forward over to your Jensen setup as well, okay? So there you have it, it's as simple as that. You just set up signal wire numbers, forward them over to whatever other call tracker like Jensen that you're using, and then your call tracker will be able to take it from there and uh, keep all your stats and recordings and whatnot. So uh, this is really only designed for those of you that are doing mass amounts of lead generation that want to save a ton of money. Um, typically, this is not going to be worth setting up if you're only doing this for a couple of GMBs or, um, or pages. You know, this is really to be used for lots and lots and lots of stuff because, uh, let's face it, you know, you're really not going to save much if you're only doing this with a couple numbers, okay? Uh, we do it with hundreds or thousands of numbers. So if you have any questions, you can certainly reach out and uh, I can help you in any way, but uh, hope you enjoy.